What up, you nerds? Let me ask you something. Has this ever happened to you? You're on Destiny 2, playing PvP, and obviously having a fantastic time with a perfect sandbox, when all of a sudden, you find this. Oh, God in heaven, an enemy titan bubble. You know it's so strong in the PvP meta right now. You shouldn't go near it. It gives your foes protection, guaranteed orbs, and a weapon damage buff. Not to mention, it's so thick. But it's too late. You can't resist the siren's call. Just think, you break that bubble, you'd be a hero, a legend to your team. You're gonna go for it. You can taste the glory. <gasps> no! How could this have happened, you say? I rushed in not knowing how to properly combat the bubble, and now I've not only let down my team, but I've lowered my KD and died a virgin. Don't let this happen to you. Today, we're gonna talk about the absolute best ways to pop a Titan Bubble, AKA the Ward of Dawn. I've done a video or two on this in the past, but guess what? The bubble got a buff in Shadowkeep. It's beefier now than it's ever been, and I really just haven't haven't gotten around to testing with it yet. I'm sure some info on how to pop Titan Bubbles is already out there for sure, and that's fine. I just like to test a lot of options and do things my own way. So here we go. We're gonna start off with what does not work, which is actually quite a lot. Kinetic weapons do a hot load of jack squat to Titan Bubbles. That's a hot tip for all you new light players out there who might not know. Even some weapons that are specifically designed to <clears throat> penetrate people or things don't seem to get the job done. That includes both Wishbringer and Thorn, sadly. Energy weapons are actually able to do damage to a bubble, but it's kind of like saying that you would be able to damage a bull by slapping it right in the face. I mean, technically it's true, but you're probably not only going to waste your own time, but also fail and get clowned in the process. And if you were wondering, anti-barrier rounds from your seasonal artifact ain't getting through the Titan bubble either. Likewise, with the almighty Ariana's Vow, was hoping the bullets would penetrate the shield, but no dice. Some power weapons actually stand a chance, which we'll get to in a minute. Most power weapons, though, don't waste your ammo. Bubbles are chunky boys, and you're just gonna spend ammo that you wish you'd spent on an enemy guardian instead. A few weapons that I was hoping would work, but didn't, include, in no particular order, the Anarchy, whose arc tripwires don't go through the bubble, and the Colony, where the stupid dummy head robot spiders decided the best play would be to run over the bubble completely. Supers, unsurprisingly, are usually your best bet to break a Ward of Dawn, but not all supers are created equal. Both Shadow Shot supers on the Night Stalker Hunter are about as effective as spitting at the bubble. The shots don't pierce the Ward of Dawn, nor do they tether the Titan inside. Even multiple shots from Mobius Quiver will not break the bubble, so don't even bother. I mean, yeah, you could try to run in and tether the floor of the inside of the bubble, but that's probably only going to work if the enemy titan doesn't know how to tie at their own shoes. Speaking of void supers that don't work at all, let's add Nova Warp to that list. I was really hoping that Nova Warp would be better at maybe pushing the titan out of the bubble, but no. Any titan with half a brain is just going to drop you dead while you try desperately to hurt them with Nova Warp. That's a hard pass. And likewise for handheld supernova. I know, that's not a super, but I thought I would give it a try. You'll get mollywopped, believe me. Capping out the bottom of the barrel of Cheeks tier options, we have both top and bottom tree Dawnblade. Even if you throw every sword you have available at the bubble, you will not break it and wish you had spent it terrorizing unprotected guardians instead. Okay, that's what completely doesn't work. Now we come to doable, but kind of bad tier. Here we have options that can break the bubble, but most of the time it's probably just not worth it. Starting off, we have Hammer Titans, specifically the bottom tree where you can stand in a sunspot. Without a sunspot, you won't have enough hammers to break the bubble. You need to be standing in a sunspot the entire time to extend your super's duration. What's the problem there? Well, because you need to stand in a sunspot to have enough hammers to break the bubble, you're pretty exposed to enemy fire. Again, doable, but kind of bad. Fist of Havoc bottom tree falls into the same camp. Shoulder charging isn't strong enough to get the job done, and ground pounding can work, but you're likely gonna get killed by the Titan 
Titan in the bubble before anything else happens. Every basic super on the Gunslinger tree also falls into this category. A six-shot golden gun can break a Titan bubble with exactly six shots. Well, yay for you, you succeeded in breaking the bubble, but now you're face-to-face -face with a full health Titan who has a weapons of light buff to your nothing buff. GG no re. Same story with the three-shot golden gun. All three shots will break the bubble, but you're wasting your entire super, and you don't even get to kill the titan inside. What good is that? Likewise with the blade barrage, which used to be the go-to bubble destroyer. Don't get me wrong, it still breaks the bubble fine, but in a perfect world, we're breaking the bubble and killing the titan inside. Overkill is the best kind of kill. Top Tree Stormcaller can break the bubble and kill the Titan inside, but only with the perk Transcendence activated on the top tree. And even still, you have to stand outside the bubble the entire time, tickling it with your lightning, making you a prime target to get shot at while you zap. Again, without Transcendence, you will fail at popping the bubble. Chaos Reach can pop the bubble, but it requires your entire Kamehameha to break, and as you might recall, Chaos Reach has do do damage reduction, so you could very well get picked off while trying to burn through the bubble. Weapon-wise, Lord of Wolves, with its exotic perk activated, can get the job done. But man, oh man, you gotta have iron cojones. Run in, land your entire burst, follow up with a melee, that's all she wrote. Yeah, attempt that one at your own risk. The World Line Zero, of all friggin' weapons, is actually also capable of ninja teleporting into the bubble and one-shotting the Titan inside. Now hold on, before before you run into PvP to try this, take note that it is very, very, very inconsistent. I only got it to work in testing like one time. In fact, if you manage to pull this off in-game and send me a clip on Twitter, I'll write you a personal recommendation letter to the college of your choice. Let's move up the ladder to medium tier. Here we have options that can get the job done pretty effectively, but there are minor drawbacks here and there. Kicking things off, we have the Celestial Nighthawk Golden Gun. I know, regular Golden Gun is doable but bad, but Nighthawk can not only tear through a bubble, but also kill the Titan inside all in one shot. Now, the very obvious question, why the f would I be using Celestial Nighthawk in any game of PvP? Fantastic question. That's why this option isn't god tier. I mean, if you were in a game of PvP and you knew the enemy team was abusing you repeatedly with bubbles, or if you were playing on PC and you have lightning quick load times where you could just switch exotic armor on the fly with no delay, Nighthawk could be there for you. Just a thought. Next up, Night Stalker, Way of the Wraith. With this super, if you spam R2 repeatedly and give your heavy strike backflip uppercut BS, you can kill the Titan inside after a few hits, and bada bing, bada boom, bubble gone. Yeah, I know, I know. This video is about what can break a bubble, and some options I've listed up to this point are focused on killing the Titan inside, but remember that killing the Titan kills the bubble, so if you can kill the Titan inside effectively, well, tomato, tomato, bubble gone. Whatever you do, don't try to spam light swings in the bubble, you will get mollywopped. Arc Staff is a very fun option. Now, normal light striking won't work, and likewise for R2 dropping out of the sky. Not effective, don't try it, but the forced palm strike, aka the light, light, Heavy is 100% the way to go if you are an Arc Strider. The Force Palm Strike does a ton of damage, but the key here is you're not using the Force Palm Strike to damage the bubble. You have to time and space it just right so that when your Palm Strike detonates, your hand is inside the bubble. If you can do that, you'll murder the Titan in a flash, break the bubble, and that's all she wrote. This option would be higher on the tier list if it weren't counterable, but if a smart Titan knows you're trying to do this, they can simply back out of the bubble to dodge your force palm strike, then hop back in. Titan Sentinel Shield. Again, this can't break the bubble per se, but you can kill the Titan. The timing on this is very particular though. You have to do the three swing strike, but you must hit the Titan first with swing two and then finish them off with swing three. If you don't land swing two, you won't do enough damage with swing three and you will fail. Burning Maul. With non-stop ground pound fire spam, you can break the bubble from outside, which is cool. But like other options we've mentioned, you're pretty exposed out in the open while pounding. The better play is to charge into the bubble head on like a badass and slam your hammer down repeatedly in 
there. The ground pound can pop the enemy titan up into the air, making them more vulnerable for repeated pounding, and they are very likely to die. Top tree Fist of Havoc is a really good option, especially if you jump before activating, thanks to the perk Terminal Velocity, which gives you more damage the higher up you activate your super. You really don't need to go full on WWE from the top rope, just one little jump is enough to completely shred a titan and break their bubble. Again, they can simply leave the bubble if they see you coming, but at the very least you can ruin their bubble and their dreams. Chaos Reach with Geomag Stabilizer Exotic Boots can not only shred the bubble, but have enough energy left over to toast the titan inside as well. Once more, the downside is that Chaos Reach has very low incoming damage reduction, and you could easily get picked off while trying to do this. Weapon-wise, we got two options out here in the medium tier. The first is Legend of Acrius, which you can simply run in, fire full force, follow up with a quick melee, and hopefully the titan dies. This can be inconsistent, but provided you land the bulk of your shots, you should be fine. The other gun is the Tractor Cannon, and this isn't so much about killing the titan, but more like removing the hermit crab out of their shell, if you know what I'm saying. If there's a wall nearby, the Tractor Cannon can always wall splat the titan, or if there's a ledge, gravity could be your murderous best friend. And now, finally we come to God tier. These options right here are your hands down best methods of barbarous bubble bashing. Both Nova Bomb options top and bottom tree are perfect. Slova Bomb is slightly more hilarious for reasons I can't really explain, but as you can probably guess, both options will completely nuke the entire area and wipe out both the bubble and the titan instantly. Thunder Crash. Now yes, the titan can simply leave the bubble if they know this is coming, but the beauty of Thunder Crash is that it all happens so quickly. You Superman right in there and ruin their dreams. Not much else to say about that. The 1000 Voices. Don't have this weapon? Well, check out my handy farming video, hashtag smooth plug. But yeah, the 1k is godly at bubble shredding. Point it right at the bubble, charge it up, and watch it all burn down. There were a few times where, strangely, the Titan did not die, but I learned that if you aim the gun right at the Titan inside when firing, then yeah, guaranteed death. Finally, my absolute favorite method of breaking a bubble is Middle Tree Sentinel Titan, aka the Code of the Commander. Not by striking or swinging your shield around like a brute, but by blocking. Throw up that banner shield block and stroll into that bubble like you own the joint. This is so hilariously effective, but the best part is the Titan will probably be so stunned by what's happening that they won't be able to react accordingly. On top of that, you're blocking, so even if they do know what you're doing, if they're not equipped properly with a suppression grenade at the ready, then they are going to fail hardcore at fighting back against their own eviction. And there you have it, the best methods around to both pop titan bubbles and or to waste the titan inside. I hope you found all of that kind of informative, and if you see a titan in PvP, hopefully you're now a little better equipped to deal with them. Don't throw away that KD, boys. Make that titan sorry they hid in their little purple shell in front of you. If you enjoyed today's content, please let me know by clicking the like button, and if you haven't done so already, click subscribe to help my channel grow so large that one day it overthrows all forms of established human government. What? Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.